Welcome to America's Premier Experts. I'm Jess Todfield, your host. Our next guest is one of those guys we love to have on because he's got the true success story. Dan Liebrecht, thanks for coming here. Just thrilled to be here. By the way, the new book, Discover the Guru in You, The Seven Insider Secrets to Finding, Landing, and Keeping Profitable Cleaning Jobs. Exciting. We're really glad to have it. We just finished it, and we poured a lot of great information into this book for folks. And, and I love that there, there's great information for everybody, and, but your background, you were in the cleaning business. You've been in a lot of businesses, yeah. but this is that one where it really took off well, we All learned, right things happen. Thanks well, we it. learned a lot about cleaning. You know, we learned a lot yeah. about cleaning, but the reason we wrote the book, and I'm glad to be here today, yeah. is that things have changed. You know, years ago, when Tony and I started our cleaning company, yeah. if you were hardworking and honest and, and did a good job, you had a pretty good chance of building up a pretty profitable cleaning company. Yeah. That's what Tony and my business yeah, Tony partner. Tony Gucci's on the cover That's on That's what there Tony and you, I right? did. That's right. We built up our cleaning yeah. company, and it was great. It was big. We owned our own building. We had wonderful employees. Yeah. And we raised our families. Took vac It was wonderful. Right. And that was great. But in the recent years, we heard we heard more and more stories yeah. about cleaning businesses that weren't doing so well. In fact, yeah. some of them were going out of business. In fact, we got to the point in recent years where we got kind of, I'd say, sick and tired of hearing really heartbreaking stories from independent cleaning businesses that were losing some of their best, oldest, and most loyal companies. And they were losing it to these big guy competitors who were putting out low prices. Right. Well, you know what? The local, trusted, independent cleaning business used to be the backbone of the cleaning industry, and they were really struggling. So we decided to step in and we decided to fight for yeah. those independent cleaning businesses and level the playing field so they could compete and win against those big guys. And that's way, why we wrote the book. And by the way, how many cleaning businesses are there in the U.S. right now? Oh, there may be 250,000 clean businesses in the United States. And the biggest couple of problems that they're encountering right now are what? Well, that's easy because it's the top two you hear all the time. Yeah. How do I find more jobs? How do I bid those jobs? And what we've done at Clean Guru, let me jump ahead and I can tell you as far as how yeah. to bid jobs. You know, let's say it was Jess's cleaning company and you're a good guy, hardworking, and you want to clean a building, an office building, but you just don't know how to bid on it. You don't know how long it should take to clean. You don't know how much you should charge the customer and you don't have a proposal, something to give the customer. Yeah. Well, Tony and I have worked for the recent years creating a program. It's online and it's called Clean Bid. That's B-I-D. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. And if you use it, it's online, it's easy to use. It'll give you a recommended monthly price right. and it'll give you a ready to deliver proposal. Two things that they really need and that's what you need. Well, this is what I'm curious about. So the two of you figured out the formula. Right. You came up with this, this great program that, that people can use. Why are you giving the information away or is it gonna hurt your business? Well. No, actually, after 21 years of being in business, about a year and a half ago, we sold our business because it got so busy and we made it our full-time mission. Now, this is the best time of our life. The last year or two, helping small and middle-sized independent cleaning businesses to grow has just been tremendous. That's why we And did. you told me that you meet a lot of these people. They're great right. people. And the problem is they, they just don't have, they don't know how to bid for the work and they are losing out to, could be the big guys, could just be any old other competitor. But the, this whole program walks them through, and it's, and it's different for everybody, meaning it, it's customized. They won't look like the next person. It's easy. You put a little bit of information in, and it helps you right through the whole process. And as far as looking customized, from, be, from the bottom to the top, you can customize it. We get calls all the time. Their customers are blown away mm -hmm. when they deliver this beautiful proposal. So the last year and a half right. has been pretty tough for cleaning businesses, and really all businesses. Sure. And one of the toughest things is finding those jobs. Right. So what do they right. what do you tell people? Well, the biggest thing is that is that today isn't yesterday. What works today does you know, what worked yesterday rather doesn't work today. So we try to teach them what does. Here's the thing. Messages like we're bonded, licensed, and insured. Yes. You know, Elvis left the building a yeah. long time ago on that. It is <laughs> yeah. dead. It is dead, plain and right. simple. I'll tell you another one you hear, Jess. Uh, we offer free estimates. Yes. Free estimates, you'd have a hard time finding anyone in the last five years that's ever paid for a cleaning estimate. Right. You have to come up with new messages. Messages that reach out there and yeah. grab your prospect by the collar and make them want to raise their hand and say, hey, listen, I want you to come out here and bid on my building. We teach our cleaning people how to create those messages. What does it mean if one of these these companies loses one 
contract, one client for the year? Oh, it can what kind be, of money are we talking about? It can, be, it can be a lot for these folks. We get calls all the time, and they're emotional calls. When they lose some of those oldest, most loyal, what used to be most loyal customers, they are devastated. The thing is to never stop marketing. But you also want to be marketing the right way, and that's what we try to teach our people to do. Right. So because the world is different. They face almost, cleaning businesses today face what is essentially a perfect storm. They got the lousy, lousy economy. Yeah. They've got, and I'm not saying anything everyone doesn't know, there's the widespread use of illegal workers. And mm -hmm. that, that really affects cleaning businesses. Right. And then the third thing has been this rise of kind of empty promising big guy companies. They can be franchises, let's say, they could be national management companies. But to us, we believe their marketing strategy is nothing more than basically lowball the price to get the job. Well, the pressure on independent cleaning businesses is a lot. They have to come up with ways to grow, and that's what we try to teach them. That's why we wrote the book. There's a few things that we've done. Number one, and we but, wrote, and sure. but by the way, I, and I, I get this from you, sure. it's not always about price. People will pay more money Absolutely. if they're going to get the quality in there. Oh, you don't want to chase the price. That's the yeah. one thing we want to do. If you, the, you want to hurting get, everybody. You want to get out of the lowest price trap. The yeah. lowest price game is a loser's game. But the only way to do that is to create more value. Right. So for example, in the book, Discover yeah. the Guru in You, we yeah. teach all about that. We've created a new, and it's free. It's a video series, and we yeah. call it Flip My Cleaning Business from Painful to Profitable. Yes. And, it's, and we do little short videos to teach folks how to change the message, change their value proposition, so that they're not chasing this low price thing. It's the biggest thing. Because here's the thing, if you offer a low price tomorrow, someone's willing to do it less, and there, then when, where will you be? And I know for the cleaning businesses who continue to find out about you on a daily basis, it's really a no-brainer because obviously they want to bring in more business, they want to be as effective, and, but the, the reason why we had you on the show today is you and Tony, your partner, have really gone about this because you really want to help the whole industry. You want Absolutely. to help bring everybody up. Absolutely. It is our mission. You've been there. You've been in the trenches. Uh, it is our mission. Listen, people, sometimes independent clean businesses, clean p businesses sometimes think, I'm not working hard enough. They are working hard enough. They may be working too hard. What they're not doing is working smart enough. Yeah. And smart enough means that they don't know the right strategies. For example, they might think, I'm in the cleaning business. Well, really? You might think of it as, I'm in the marketing of cleaning businesses. Yeah. Sure, you're in the cleaning business, but if you're going to grow, you need to figure out how to do that. We teach you how to do that. I'll tell you, that's what Tony and I learned as we grew our business, and it was wonderful. But we're not hearing many stories about that today, other than trying to help people to learn how to do that. And people have referred to, to you and your company, Clean Guru, as an overnight success. How long does it take to become an overnight success? That depends <laughs> on what you know. Yes, Once how long we, did it take you? It, it took us a while, but when we finally learned the new strategies, then it happens quicker. Right. It, it, when you, finally change, your, when you cha finally change your mindset on how to do it, and you have certain systems, then it happens rather quickly, right. and that's the fun part. Right, but it didn't happen overnight. Oh, no, 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 no. Like I say, we did this for over 21 yeah, years, yeah, yeah. and now it's fun to give back right. to startups, small companies, and middle-sized companies that want to grow. Information on Clean Guru, people go where? Easy. Just go to Clean Guru, that's G U R U, cleanguru.com, yeah. and they can find out about the book, the free video series, coaching, all kinds of programs. They can read articles right online. It's a complete no brainer. Discover the Guru in You, a great read, really helpful for so many different types of businesses, certainly cleaning businesses. Definitely check out the website. Thank you. Give me one.